I continue disassembly with this guy, then I pull the timing cover, okay, or the front gear train cover, uh, and get access to the, the gears underneath it. Now, the timing cover is split into two parts. There's actually a front shell and a rear shell. Now, if you're lucky and you have an oil leak, only the front shell is leaking, but usually it's the rear shell, which means you're going to have to pull all your gears and anything else underneath of this. But we're going to start with this guy here and pull him apart. So I'm going to do the fast forward thing. Now, before we can pull the cover off, though, we do have to pull our crank pulley off. We'll have to get this guy out, and to do that, we'll have to pull this nut off. If we don't have an impact gun, we'll have to get some sort of tool that actually holds on to this and keeps it still while we try to ratchet that off. So I'm going to zip that off and we'll pick it up. Now zip this out uh, and we can pull this off. This here crank pulley is actually on there uh, like a press fit. We'll have to use a puller to actually remove it. I've installed this puller. This is just a harmonic balancer puller, uh, general to any engine. Uh, I usually call it the chicken foot puller. If you ever look at like a track marks made by a grouse or something like that, it usually looks kind of like this. Those three little... Uh, bosses on this area here we can just put these in you don't have to crank these down either just kind of hand tights all right and then we can just tighten this up with our ratchet hold it in place a little stubborn but it's finally coming now you can see once it pops it loosens right off and here we go now we can take this part again get the fastener out of there it's important to keep a fastener in there or some other piece of soft metal, um, just to protect the threads on the nose of that crankshaft. That's, that's really important. Zip this out of here and we'll just pause. And yeah, just pulled that apart. This slides right off. Here it is. I did have this little roll pin here. It helps line it up with where it needs to go. Uh, but there's your, your pulley off. Now that this is off though, we can pull this timing cover and go from there. 